Cincinnati opened up the betting as the three-point underdogs in their contest at Houston. Thanks for watching on B-Rock, and Houston opened up laying 125 on the money line. I have the line opening up at an even 41, while currently 53% of the money is on Houston to win on the spread. Moving on, I've seen some significant movement of the lines, as the spread currently resides as a pick'em contest with Houston laying 120 for some money line cash. Spread and money line aside, the over-under gained a full point and is posted up at an even 42. All that said, I'm going to break down both teams against the points for you, beginning with the Cincinnati Bengals, who've only covered four out of 14 total games overall. In addition, since he's a winless 0-5 against the spread as the underdog or pick him, as well as covering a measly once out of eight games on the road. They're also a winless uh, they're also winless against the spread as the official road underdogs posting a dismal record of 0-4. In addition to covering only once out of three games when the line's around 42 total points, the Bengals have gone a pathetic 0-7 against the spread versus teams winning more than 55% of their games. I can't resist one more. Since he only covered once out of three games versus teams, allowing 21 to 25 points a game. Now, having used all of that pejorative jargon, I do have Cincy with a marquee cover over the potentially playoff-bound Miami Dolphins this year. On the other side of the ball, I got the Houston Texans at 4-2 and two at home with a push against the spread, and they've covered twice out of three games against teams winning less than 40%. In addition, I have Houston at 2-1 and one against the points when the line's around 42 total points. Records aside, Houston has some marquee covers this year against the likes of Detroit, Kansas City, and Tennessee. Given the aforementioned, I am loving, once again, loving the leadership of new Houston quarterback Tom Macho Man Randy Sept. And I gotta take Houston on the spread, who was laying two and a half at the time of my original pick Monday morning. With this game currently as a pick'em, buy yourself seven points and plug in Houston in your multi-game teasers. Speaking of Houston, they're currently laying 120 on the money line, and you all should know by now that I love me some money line cash. In addition, Houston's got the highest ranked defense in the league at number one, along with having the fifth ranked rushing attack in all of professional football. Tom Savage, Ben Savage, Randy Savage, really doesn't matter who's at QB, Houston matches up well against Cincy, and it's for that reason that I'm loving, once again loving, the Houston Texans winning this one outright for some money line cash. With the spread and money line picks in the books, there's only one thing I'd like to break down, and that's the total points, which at the time of my original pick Monday morning was posted at 41 and a half. Both teams have collectively averaged 38 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. In addition, both organizations have gone under their respective line in three out of their last four games each as well. Given that information, I am loving, once again, loving this bet, and I gotta take the under 41 and a half total points. All told, I got Houston laying two and a half on the spread, Houston winning outright for some money line cash. And I'm taking the under 41 and a half total points. Well, my friend, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your picks and have a positive day.